In this video, we'll introduce our new AHelper tool, designed to enhance your workflow and accelerate your interactions with 3ds Max. First off, ensure you have the latest versions of all your plugins by clicking this button. The updates will appear in a new window. Next, verify you're using the newest version of the AHelper tool by selecting it from the dropdown and hitting the Load button on the right. After completing these steps, to utilize the tool with your selection, enable the Manipulate mode and pick any objects in your scene. A blue rectangle will appear around your selected items, and to access the parameters and actions of this tool, just click on the blue rectangle and drag to the right and upwards until you can easily read all the parameters. The tool offers various categories such as Scene, providing operations like Open, save, and other basic file operations or edit options including hold, fetch, clone selection. For instance, you can copy a box and move it. It also allows you to select all objects. These options are available from the edit menu, but here everything is aggregated in one location for a straightforward click and drag action. For group options, rather than navigating to the group menu, all necessary functions are compiled here allowing you to open your group, reposition objects, and quickly close it all within seconds. Similar actions are found under Layers. You can select by layer, add your selection to a new layer, and name it, an option not provided by 3ds Max. Opening our Layer Manager, we observe that our boxes have been added to this new layer. Naturally, you can designate this layer as Current, for example. Creating a new layer for these three spheres, we see that they're neatly organized. And of course, you can also select by layer. In this scenario, if you explode your group and select only the first box, you can select the layer this box belongs to by performing this action. Should you wish to alter the position of your tool's working plane, you can adjust it at any time by moving this handle. The size can be changed by adjusting this handle and you can modify the height or close your parameters by shifting the top handle. By default, upon making a selection and accessing the parameters, the tool will automatically isolate your selection to simplify your working process. Once finished, closing the tool's parameters also turns off the isolation of your object. However, if you prefer working with all your objects simultaneously, you can manually deactivate the Isolate Selection option in 3ds Max. Advancing further, you can access and adjust your renderer settings, a task we won't cover at the moment due to its complexity. For the environment, altering the background color is possible. For instance, you can change your background to blue with varying levels of luminosity, like so. Additionally, you can modify the environment map, for example, using this UV grid. You also have the power to decide whether to use this map or display it in the viewport. Continuing with the object's collection, here you can modify the base of our selected items. Adjusting the length, width, and even the height of this box is straightforward. However, when selecting multiple objects, you'll notice the ability to alter these dimensions, despite the objects not being instances of each other a feature not available in the Modify panel. Thus, we can adjust the height to 20, for example, holding the Shift key to increment the value by 5 units. The width can be fixed to 20 and the length to 40, as needed. Access to the properties of the selected objects is also provided, offering settings like Box Mode, See-Through, among other listed options. For even greater control over the options, you can drag down any unneeded option to reveal the subsequent option at the bottom. You can repeat this process as desired until you find the specific option you're looking for, like Apply Atmospherics, enabling you to deactivate this option. In the Modifiers collection, you manage your modifiers. You can apply an Edit Poly or Noise modifier. Once added, the values of these modifiers can be easily altered. The Visibility collection allows for the hiding of your selection, with the ability to reverse this using Ctrl-Z, hiding unselected or unveiling all objects. 
These are actions also accessible from the 3DS Max menu, but are expedited through this tool. Several other actions are available, such as converting your selection to poly or mesh. Additionally, you can reset the base object of your selection, reverting your box to default parameters, but let's enable the mapping coordinates for this one. Within the Materials collection, accessing the materials of your selection is possible. Although our instances lack assigned materials, here you can apply new physical, standard, or V-Ray materials. Under Base Material, a new physical material can be seen, where you can apply a base color map and select this image. Subsequent updates reflect these changes accurately. The same procedure can be applied to the other box. Should the working plane be difficult to view, adjusting its position to the right is feasible. Regarding base material, applying a different physical material and changing the base color map to another texture, like this one, is just a few mouse clicks. Controlling the file name of this map is achievable by selecting this option. Additionally, it allows viewing the precise map or locating the map in Windows Explorer. Selecting a new map like this example enhances the customization. Moreover, the parameters of these textures can be modified for both materials simultaneously if they share the same material in the map slot. Thus, altering this map with both boxes selected demonstrates that, despite the materials not being instances, changes to this map affect both materials. Navigating swiftly to the root menu of the tool is simple. Just select any category and move it to the extreme right or left, transitioning you back to the A helper's root. Delving into the Transforms collection, it's possible to relocate your selection along the X and Y axes, utilizing either the World X or Screen X axes as references. Remarkably, these operations are executed independently of your preferences set within the 3DS Max main menu. Hence, despite employing the 3DS Max Selection Center, individual rotation along the local z-axis for each object can be achieved seamlessly. Moreover, should you opt for individual object pivot points, the Rotate Selection Collection offers the ability to rotate your selection as if utilizing the Selection Center, for instance, along the world z-axis. This feature, while subtly differing from 3DS Max, proves invaluable for quickly adjusting your scene without altering any 3DS Max menu settings. Progressing to the Scripts menu, any script located in your Scripts folder is executable. By choosing the Open Folder action, determining the precise location of this script folder for your user account is straightforward. Presently, a single script exists. It is a basic message box. Executing this script displays the message box with the message, Altering the script allows for message modification. Following a save and window closure, re-execution reveals the updated text. This capability is advantageous for managing multiple scripts, streamlining their organization and accessibility for your projects. Organizing these scripts into subfolders within the main script folder is also feasible. Advancing to the Actions collection for the current selection. Here, adding modifiers is an option. An edit poly modifier, for instance, can be incorporated with a simple action. Additionally, specific edit poly actions, such as attaching an object, are accessible. To undo the last operation, simply pressing Ctrl-Z on the keyboard. The geometry of this edit poly object can similarly be cut. Utilizing a slice plane, followed by confirming the operation with the slice plane action, is straightforward. Repeating the slice plane action is possible for continued usage. While slightly deviating from the 3DS Max workflow, these actions are customizable and subject to updates in future versions. Similar actions apply to edit mesh collection, and once modifications are complete, converting your selection to poly, mesh, patch, or any available option is achievable. For instance, converting this object to editable poly. The Ava Studio Tools collection enables the launch of all our tools. 
Creating an ah tiles object or even trees can be effortlessly accomplished. Should the ah helper working plane prove too small for readability, a simple click drag can reposition the working plane. In the Create collection, a wide variety of 3ds Max objects can be generated. Whether it's a teapot, a dummy object, or other, creation is seamless. Within the Setup collection, various tool options can be adjusted. For instance, when working from the top viewport where the working plane might not be clearly visible, activating the Auto Roll option ensures the working plane rotates to face the viewer upon adjustment. Deactivating this option retains the chosen roll angle, enabling consistent work with a specific angle, such as 80 degrees in this example. Options to load the default parameters of the AH Helper tool are available, as well as access to a compact parameter set, which offers fewer options organized differently. Future versions will introduce the ability to load configurations from a file, a feature not present in version 1.0. Saving your current configuration to a file will also be possible. Additional functionalities include maximizing or minimizing the viewport. The expert mode facilitates a focus on the scene by hiding all 3ds Max windows. For example, selecting three objects, navigating to the scene, and under layers, adding them to a new layer with a customized name is seamless. Moving to the objects collection, adjustments of the base object parameters, such as toggling mapping coordinates or modifying the dummy object's box size are straightforward. Should specific parameters be required, unneeded ones can be moved down to reveal desired settings, enabling adjustments like the teapot's radius or the box's dimensions. This brief overview introduces our new tool. We invite feedback and suggestions for future versions. The tool will remain free, with custom configuration loading and saving exclusively for subscribed users. However, default and compact configurations will always be freely accessible to all users without subscription. The Avis Studio Tools application is available for download from the Autodesk App Store or our website, ensuring easy access and use of this tool. Supporting our work through a subscription is appreciated, granting access to the all other tools that we offer. Future developments include incorporating AI suggestions for the next action. Within the iHelper tool is currently in the planning stage. This innovative option will be also exclusive to subscribed users. Thank you for watching. We'll appreciate your feedback and suggestions in the comments below, and we are excited to further evolve this new tool for working with 3ds Max.